Is there any, so when I was listening to it, something was really confused me about the silence. So I get the whole thing. If you look at them and then you're not looking at them, you know, you forget them, right? But what I didn't know is, so apparently if you've heard them and you don't hear them, you forget them. Yep. Uh, I don't remember yep. that in the show. So, so if you smell them and then you stop smelling them, would you forget they were there? Probably. So, uh, te so technically, if you wanted to remember the silence, the best way to do that would be to... Uh, longest way to do that would be to just grab uh you know grab a swab when you run into them and get their scent and then just hold that under your nose for as long as you wanted to remember the silence <laughs> i guess a viable way and a lot less uh convoluted than the way they come up with <laughs> but i won't say how because spoilers but yeah so you could just basically go oh yeah Oh yeah, I, I can totally smell you right now. Yeah, you're you're right here. Yeah, I, I I'm not forgetting you. You're, you're right in front of me. Oh, first, what is that stench? <laughs> first, the problem <laughs> becomes problem becomes there is a certain you know physiological issue with that is that you know over time you will your brain no <laughs> longer interprets a scent. It it sort of filters it out as background noise. Yeah. And so if if they if they if it sort of filters it out as background noise then yeah. <laughs> um you, you'll 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 suddenly forget out of nowhere, but uh mm -hmm. It's nice to see they remember the day. Uh, yeah, anybody who's seen the moon landings will uh, will always shoot the silence on sight. Mm -hmm. Or will at least be tempted to doing it. Yep. That, that's why nobody wants to ban guns, is to shoot the silence. Yeah. So is, there an, <laughs> so is there an alien race called the Breeze that has a similar manifestation? Because everybody's talking about shooting the Breeze. Ah. <sighs> Bad puns are funny. <laughs> they are. Well, I mean, I am pun pony, so uh, there is that. True. Uh, Speaking of ponies, the con is coming up. Yay. Anyway, but, yeah, so back, we get started. Back to the review. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, so, basically, the colonel has, uh, has undergone some surgery that uh, he has some alien in him now. <laughs> holding him together, and uh, he's not sure how to handle that yet. Um, and she's like, um, you, it was in the paperwork you filled out, to, you know, your consent form. It's like, I never read that stuff. Oh, in his defense, who the hell does read that stuff? Yeah, who, who, when, who reads the EULA? It's like yeah. if you see if you see right here it says we will be giving you an alien dick. Damn, I should have read that. <laughs> but I mean this is stuff going into your body. <laughs> this isn't just like have you read the terms of agreement, at, <laughs> you know, services. No, this is dude. This is what is going into your body and this is what you are going to be having now. So Okay, okay, question. When you go grocery shopping, do you read every single last ingredient and in every single item that you buy? I don't go grocery shopping, so that's a that's a negative. Eh. <laughs> Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, and it's probably of the many. Uh, if you were going to do it like a, a, a if you were to turn Doctor Who into a comedy, the Silence are probably one of those species that you would bring around a lot. So because oh, you forget, you know, it, it either goes one way. You either treat it lightheartedly and then it's a comedy or you treat it tragic you know, just darkly and then it's a horror but uh, you basically just go oh yeah oh what was I doing oh wait what wait until next week then that's all I will say but yeah this, the, there's a lot of humor available for this of course, there's also great humor. You can basically turn any Doctor Who villain into something funny, you know. Those because... two potato guys. Yeah, the Sontarans. I love the Sontarans. <laughs> That's not a great nickname. But if you do get defeated, <laughs> you just <laughs> stall the undefeated, <laughs> not so undefeated anymore, but never mind. <laughs> Oh, and the whole, you know, banter between the Daleks and the, and the Cybermen at Canary Wharf. It's like, you are only good at one, you, you're, there's only one way in which Cybermen are superior to Daleks. What is that? You are better yes. at dying. <laughs> <laughs> You oh would God, destroy I the Cybermen with four Daleks. We Somebody would destroy needs... all the Cybermen with one Dalek. <laughs> he needs to make a comic where Cyberman's like, um, did you just assume my gender? Well, considering they don't have any sort of physical manifestation of anything, it's like... We're known as cyber person, not cyber man. I did see a rather um, amusing YouTube channel about gay Dalek. <laughs> of course. Of course. I could do that. Yeah. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, and the, uh, the unit, unit has a life form detector, so they, they, they can scan for life forms. That's interesting. That's, that's that's one of those things that's going to if it, if you forget it's there, that's going to create a lot of plot holes. <laughs> that's a plot hole machine. It's like, oh yeah, didn't you just scan for life forms? Oh yeah. I just love scanning for life forms. Yeah, life. I I still, I still don't get how they <laughs> forgot that they found a life form because in the show it's just like if you see them and you don't see any, forget about them, but. She didn't see them when she scanned for them. She just, you know, got yeah, noticed that your awareness of their existence fades over time. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it's not just oh, I forgot I saw them. It's you forget they ever existed unless you uh, remind yourself. I wish I had that power. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> what? Oh, that, that, that's got to be funny if 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 it works up to the point of actually describing the silence, uh, because like <laughs> imagine you're like going through the files trying to clean up and update all the files on aliens. You're like, okay, we got new information. We need to go through the files and update everything. Okay, you get down to what's this file? The silent. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any new new uh, information on that? Oh, wait. What was I looking at? Oh, okay. Well, oh, no, no, no information. Okay, back out. Okay. Oh, what's this? The silence. 
Oh, okay. Let me check to see if we have any new information. No? Okay, back out. The silence. Click, click. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's check That's and see. <laughs> waste, waste an afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you Do you just, think the silence forgets themselves? They've got to be immune to it themselves, obviously. Otherwise, yeah. the, otherwise, no, the whole thing. You know, I did just picture like the goldfish conversation of, "Hi, nice to meet you." All right, um, yeah, cool. See you later, and then they swim off. Uh, you know, move off. And then five seconds later, oh, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, and they would forget that their name is The Silence. Because that would be remembering the existence of The Silence. So they wouldn't even remember their own name. They couldn't keep a name as a species because they'd always forget it. My name is The Silence, but deadly. <laughs> I already made that joke. That she did. Shush. <laughs> yes, but we all forgot it. I Fair enough. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. So, yeah, basically... Shenanigans with... Trying to investigate the silence, but for constantly forgetting them. And then we get, uh... Jackie McGee on the, uh... London Eye. And, because uh, she is the eyewitness. Uh-huh. Uh, she watched it, you know, she, she watched it eating constructed? Uh-huh. Uh, possibly. Yeah, it's not that old, but, um... It's not as old as you, th you might think. If, you know, when you, when you first you know, you know, didn't know a lot about London when I first watched Doctor Who and saw that London Eye. Well, that's probably been there a while. And from what I understand, it's not been there very long. I don't know the exact dates, but they just sort of like, oh, we'll throw that up for some celebration, and then it's just like, oh, well, that looks good. Let's keep it. But. Yeah. Uh, millennium, yeah, it's called the Millennium Wheel, also. So, mm. so yeah, it was open to the public in 2000. So, it's sort of the Eiffel Tower, it was brought up for the Millennium, and then just sort of we liked it, we're keeping it. Or, so, it's not even old enough to drink yet in America. Although it is in England, so I don't yeah. know the drinking it. But I don't think it'll be drinking anytime soon. Considering it's an inanimate object. But uh, I don't know if you remember the Weeping Angels were inanimate objects that came to life, so... I think that you, you're, you're suggesting the London Eye is a giant... Uh, uh, in a, a, you know, Weeping Angel sort of species... It's quantum locked. It's just nobody will stop looking at it long enough for it to to move. Yep. Technically, it's not inanimate, though. Well, I mean, non living. It's just you can you can like the actual wheel itself is 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 the creature, and all the bracers are there to hold it up and spin it around. So that it, it you know, it still functions as a carousel, but it itself does not move. It is moved by something not touching it. By, by something, by, it's moved by mechanical means, not by, you know, living being means. Um, so I, but yeah, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, to stop a giant, uh, weeping angel in its tracks putting it in the middle of a very populated city would probably do it yep so Las Vegas it's like there's always somebody watching me 
There's always somebody watching me. Why can't I move? Of course, then you just have to wait for a very, very thick uh, pile of fog one day. And then you're good. You can move. But then a bird would perch on it and it's like... <laughs> move, bird! <laughs> Of course, I suppose if the bird was touching it, you could you could just, you know, dis temporal displace it and it's ha ha. <laughs> I ate your future of a bird. I will live for another five minutes. <laughs> I, I, I managed to, I managed to, uh, to, you know, eliminate, <laughs> eliminate all the beings that are looking at me right now. Thanks to the fog, I can move. Oh, I'm stuck inside this sort of Ferris wheel casting. I, I can't move. <laughs> but we just created the next, um, the next Doctor Who monster. <laughs> The London Eye, yeah. Yeah. He probably wasn't too, probably wasn't too pleased with being used as a radar dish for the Autons, or a broadcast dish for the Autons. Probably not. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what else was there? There's really not much. It's the problem with this. You know, having the silence as a as a sort of villain is not a lot actually happens because you keep having to backtrack it's like oh yes yeah. we discovered that they do this and then we forgot it and, th and then we remembered it again and then we forgot it and then we, then we remembered again that's why the next episode is called square one <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so we've entirely wasted your time and ours by running around in circles chasing our tails for about an hour. <laughs> so, yes. We just need to abduct one of these silences, knock it out, and then we all need to stand around it, keep it constantly in our sight, you know, and then just, that's how we're going to have to carry out this investigation. We just constantly have to look at them or just carry around a picture of them or something yeah or or have uh have headphones on that you know basically while you're still listening just keep it listening and while you're listening to it create a, a file and loop that file of silence you know and then just have it in, in earpiece in one earpiece you have your standard radio in one ear, you have something that's just playing a bit of the silence's voice over and over again without any breaks, so that you can't for it. It locks you into knowing their existence, and as soon as you, so that if you turn it off, yes, you'll forget. But so long as you so you can keep it going for a while, at least as long as the batteries last, and you can write a full report and. Then turn that back on. <laughs> but, you know, write a full report and then you can turn it off and then read it, and turn it back on. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, it, that's, it's a very Sisyphusian sort of ordeal. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's, there's not much to talk about with this episode. That's why, probably, why we got off on the, uh, got off on the London Eye rant for a second. Uh, that, yeah, it's, it's funny, but it's just sort of <coughs> okay. It, it's well, just, let's just, just, let's just wait circle. five minutes. What? Let's wait five minutes. Forget completely about it, and then we can talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, what was that sound? <laughs> <laughs>
Actually, a funny anecdote. One of my uh, friends at the Chicago TARDIS, her mom was uh, had watched but sort of forgotten the silence episode. And that episode, like, really scared her, you know, freaked her out. Mm-hmm. And so her friends, uh, she was in college, and her friend and she drew the, you know, the little check marks on her arm and her mom totally freaked out when she saw him and didn't remember why (laughs) (laughs) she was all freaked out about the silence and didn't remember the silence (laughs) which to be fair I don't remember much about the silence episode either Uh, yeah their appearances, yeah, I, I don't remember much about them because it's just yeah. been a while. But... To me, the best I can remember them, they kind of look like pissed off ouds. <laughs> so, actually, the best description of them are the scream. You know, the yeah, the scream. a little bit, and that's and that's why. Um, that uh, might have been the inspiration for the, the the design was okay, you got the scream. This is the silence. <laughs> yeah. Opposing things. And then they worked around that name and design. It's like we can't call them the screams. That's silly. The silence. That sounds ominous. Okay, what do they do? Okay, they gotta be quiet or hard to remember or something. <laughs> Oh, you, you can't remember them once you f- stop looking at them. You, it's the opposite of the, the Weeping Angels. That's what it is. And that, that, that may have been a condensed form of the uh, the writer's room at the time when it was under creation. I just always remember... The only thing I remember of them is the... Uh, oddly enough, is when the doctors... Like, yeah, using them... Using their own sort of memory kind of hacking abilities to hack into people a shoot to kill order or something somebody did yeah. it. it's like yeah you're you will you will if you see these shoot ones y- your subconscious will tell you kill them shoot to kill shoot to kill shoot to kill yeah the only thing i really remember about that episode was the check marks on the arm because I, um, at work, you know, I have to keep count of things and I'm too lazy to actually keep track of a piece of tiny piece of paper in an entire stock floor. So I write on my arm. Yeah. And so <laughs> one year I was, um, kind of hard pressed to find a, co- you know, to, it's like, what are you, what's your costume? And I'm like, oh, here, see? And I showed him my arm from work. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, Margaret does not wash off very easily. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I have a costume for uh, the con. Just don't wash my arm after work. <laughs> but, uh, what was I <sighs> Yeah, there's not much, not much else to say about it. It's just sort of... Yeah, this one isn't one of my favorite um, actual sets. Yeah. It's 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 fun enough, but yeah, it, it, just it, it not enough be- happens to have a really good review talk over it. It's like yeah, yeah, because it, it, I mean, it's just in, so it's a problem inherent with the silence is, is you're going to be retracing ground. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And so, yeah, you're gonna go you're go in circles a bit, especially if you're just reestablishing what they do. You yeah. Know, oh, you're you're gonna spend another you're gonna spend another five to ten minutes reestablishing what the silence do because, oh yeah, you can't remember, you know. And unit never officially faced them, so there's like, we don't know what these things are. Yeah, and and even if they did, it would be in their records, and 
Like, oh, what's the silence? Oh, okay. Eh, well, that's what it is. Click out. Hmm, what's the silence? <laughs> and that's an afternoon. It's an afternoon yeah. lost. Learning and unlearning the silence for an afternoon. Uh, it's like, how did it turn into, why is it three o'clock? I, I was looking over these files at noon. What have we been doing for the last three hours? <laughs> What's the silence? <laughs> uh. although, although I do like the fact that they used the whole mind control aspect of it that a lot of um, a lot of people forget actually they actually had. I mean. Yeah, it's one of their the, the it's one of their more pure powers. Yeah, yeah, it's like well, I mean, their their headlining ability is making you forget that they exist mm -hmm. just by you stopping to perceive you stop perceiving them, thus you forget they exist. But the yeah, the the memory hacking sort of stuff that's also there, and yeah. Yeah. Probably hypnotize somebody to, to dance like a chicken, but you can't hypnotize them to, to death. <laughs> Just a cheap bit of voodoo. Sure. I don't know. It depends on how susceptible they are. Now, here's a question. Can you hypnotize somebody to dance to a chicken if that person has never seen a chicken or doesn't even know what a chicken is? No, I don't think so. You'd have to, they'd have to know what it is to do it. It's like hypnotizing somebody to, you know, play the violin. It's like, yeah, they could, they could fumble around and try, but they're not going to know what the heck they're doing. You can, you can... They, they, would, they would have to know what they're doing before they do it. If, you know, you know, if you told a one-legged person to stand on two legs, it's just not going to work because they don't have, they can't do that. Kind of like how the death note, you can yeah. make empty do something before their death as long as they could do it before their death. Yeah. yeah. If yeah, if they if they could. If they could reasonably do it, you know, like, they could say, oh, uh, I'm afraid, you know, I'm afraid of Kira. That's pretty, that's, you know, that's reasonable. That's something they might know. But they can't draw Elle's face because they don't know what it looks like. You know, they can't escape prison and go to, go to Paris on the other side of the world without knowing what it is. You know, yeah, but... Oh, uh, anyway, we've even gone off on a death note tangent trying to pad this thing a little bit. Um, but yeah, there, any other thoughts? I mean, it's it's entertaining enough, but there's not really much to talk about with this for the moment. Yeah, but we'll forget about it by next week and have more to talk about. We'll have a new episode anyway. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. So. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have two things to review next week. And uh, if there's nothing else, we'll call that a review.